up, everybody? All right. Nervous today. Very nervous. I built a lot of water blocks, AIOs, whatever you want to call them, and they've all been mostly for CPUs. I've never done one. So what we have here, onward. Let's let's crack this bad boy open. Again, I've never done this. Never done this. Scared. I'm scared. I'm scared I am out of my depth. Now I do know from I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I did watch some I did watch some videos before I got this in. It just came in actually. All this stuff just came in. Um in here. But it's pretty self-explanatory. After I watched it, I mean you got screws, you got washes. Okay. So here we go. Well, okay, it's even got some plugs. Oh, I am going to be changing up in a couple of weeks. There's an active res there's an active back plate that goes on it. In the meantime, I will be using the back plate that came with the 3090. There's an EK one. You can get it. it's either like a shiny, shiny chrome or there's a black one. Highly polished, things gorgeous. It's a sheet of aluminum and it just bolts down like the factory one does. Or you can get an active backplate. They just came out with Quantum Vectum active backplate. What that does is, it, I, I wouldn't use it on anything but a 3090. That's why I'm thinking about getting it. And it's probably more or less for people that are doing mining versus gaming. But I think it'll be cool to have. What it does is, what it does is it works like the front water plate. It butts up together, they join, it pumps water through it, and cools the backside. And they say you get about another, it wasn't that impressive actually, it was like another five to six degrees cooler versus, you know, over what this does. But okay, so anyways, yes, yeah, so you got plugs, screws, washes, and obviously this is some type of a tool. Yeah, it looks like it would fit inside of where the plugs go to tighten it down. And it comes with some EK thermal paste in there. I don't know if I'm going to use that or I'm going to use my Noctua. Okay, it comes with what looks like one millimeter thermal pads that are going to need one, two, three, four, five, five strips of one millimeter. Seems like nice thermal pad. I know the factory comes with two and two and a half EK. If they're giving you ones, they've machined this down. So that's what it takes. Here's the block. There's channels underneath here where everything flows through. I can see the holes, uh, little gaps in there, and the, the fluid gets channeled through there. Well, you can see a very, very slight amount of machining on it, but it's nothing to worry about, I would imagine. Nothing at all. Everything looks clean. Yeah, you can see a couple little swirls here and there. RTX 3080, 3090, Vector FTW3. It's printed right on there. We have some RGB over here. This is really freaky because it almost looks like the channels are here and this is where the fluid would run through, <laughs> but the channels are actually underneath i hope <laughs> yeah you, you can see where it goes in the channels are underneath and it does all it's cool in there there's really nothing over here to cool a little or maybe a couple of a couple of very small v rams I, I i don't know but nothing to sweat so that's our unboxing that's my explanation of where we're going to go from here this part of the video, um, it's only going to consist of me getting this hooked up in the plate down on there with the card and then the back plate. I'll do another video because this is going to be a little longer than normal. So I'll do a second part on this when I build. Yeah, when I when I build, the, when I put the tubing on it, the fittings, and that'll be a second part. Make sure everything's spotless. Bring the card in and we're going to start doing our thing. I might have to cut some out where it's going to take a while for me to measure all this stuff out and trim it up correctly to get it on the card. This is a little something I use for cleaning electronic components when it's all disconnected. You can get the Oxit. It's a cleaner. It's non-conductive. It doesn't carry a current. It's awesome for cleaning. I'm not a big fan of Q-tips, but on something like this where it's wide open and clear, I think it's probably better to use. Let me show you something. You want to see clean? That is how clean it gets when you use that. Oh, WD-40 makes a cleaner too. That's what we are. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this stuff all cut up nice and we'll be back. All right, we're back. Okay, first thing I want to talk about. All this extra stuff that you end up with, as long as it's not too small of a piece, something like this I would I would keep because you never know when you're going to have a small a small capacitor that needs to be covered or a piece of VRAM. Now on this one, on, 
it doesn't go that far back it only goes to here now you're gonna notice this a little different color I use the other one millimeter thick stuff that I have because I didn't quite cut it correctly on the pieces they gave me so I just used my stuff and the same thing just just a little shade shade different so I just wanted to show you how a couple of pieces go on for those who haven't done this before like me well I've, I've done it on other things but not one of these I know you can see my ceiling fan spinning boop 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 my GPU is running and I ain't even got power Ooh, baby whoa okay what's going on with this sometimes this thin back part can be kind of a pain in the butt to get off just gotta be patient with it peel it back try to hold it just by the edges you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it just enough just a little rub now all of these here and here are lr22s but i noticed on the back plate it doesn't extend out to cover this one and there's probably some back here that i would have preferred to cover but if ek didn't design it to go and, and cover that then obviously just air alone is, is sufficient enough now the ones like these i was i almost went like out a little further on these two then i realized that they are about a half a millimeter millimeter higher than the vram chips so i left those alone and we got one more piece here and I re again i recommend get a little bag both sides are still on it you got strips like this those could always be little fill-ins this stuff is expensive you don't want to just chuck it away especially if you use it a lot even if you got to like use a couple pieces on one thing and later in the future a couple together to make two millimeters or whatnot i do have some halves over there too but again i double checked and it doesn't call for them so i'm staying with ones all the way around again the evga has had two and 2.5 so um, what i read i'm trusting that ek did their machining to the point where you didn't need that thickness they made it so all you need is one millimeter pretty much everywhere these back ones these small ones and these on the on the evga are two different sizes now the piece that you want to stay up is always the, there's two pieces to this one of them is very thin the plastic covering and the other one is thicker you want to take the thinnest one preferably the way i do it is i like to use that see how thin this is it's just basically a small sheet of plastic covering it and that's what you want to use i watched a video last night where a guy literally every piece he did i, I couldn't believe it i don't know if i was impressed or just shocked every piece he did he used a micrometer and it still didn't look any different than this he used a micrometer to measure every single one and then cut it with scissors and uh, don't mind me i'm just making sure my cameras are all still going and call me paranoid right we'll give this a little give it a little rub down a little rub down these little razor knives etching knives are always nice to have i'll show you what i mean by it's thicker it's so thick it literally put maybe maybe this is the piece that should have went down huh okay there's both sides off see the difference in very thick very thin now if there's a little corner of something showing i wouldn't panic over it i wouldn't get like just sloppy thinking that you don't need to worry about everything but it just makes for bad future endeavors you're gonna have now yeah these these are all li22s this is an li22 it's the same i guess that is the ram yes and these are these are metal tube capacitors almost tube not tube tube of glass but those are capacitors this is all vram i think these are probably some type of capacitor i don't think those are little vrams but hey yeah, those two are good so let's go over here yeah i finally been messing around with my camera and i learned how to do the fast forward stuff so it's not in the camera which I thought it was. It's in the editing program, which is very easy to just zip through. So this stuff they gave is much easier to come off. Okay, so I'm not gonna bring you through this whole thing, so I'm just gonna let it run and edit it. Okay, no, very important to remind yourself, even write yourself a note and put it right in front of you, but you have to take both sides off. So many people forget if you don't remove the plastic from both sides, you will not get the heat transfer and you will see it get hot. So you can see the difference in color from the other day. There's no way that it still has something on it. Why would it have two layers? That's impossible. But it's smooth. It's not sticky like this is sticky. I'm almost tempted on putting all my stuff on there. Where's that bag? I'm going to take a piece out. 
Hang on, look at this. So you have the back piece and then the front piece that I just took off. So, okay. Yeah, that was a lot heavier. Let me see about the other side. I did have the blue down. I just want to check it. <laughs> Straight. Yeah, it is. It's just very smooth. I guess, yeah, but it is there. You put your finger into it. Just a lot smoother. Okay. Answer that question. Oh, I wasted a little piece. I worked on a video card one time. Not too long ago. And on the back of it, it didn't have pads and it didn't have, what do I want to call it, paste. It had like something in between where it was like a really like, really thick, thick type paste. So I was like, I wanted to try and make some. So I took some of these pads and believe it or not, I put a, I put some uh, um, some Arctic 5 in there because it's thinner than the 4. Is it Arctic or MX? MX5. And I crushed it until it was a thin, it was a kind of a thick paste thermal paste to it and it didn't stick hard like that you could almost make like a putty and I rolled up some little thin put on, boy it took a while to get it so I could put it down on there and put but man it worked like a charm Noctua it's, it's a big tube they are just very hard to beat they have some of the like I said I consider it to be the best paste we are going to clean that CPU one more time because I know I got my grubby fingers on it there's a percentage on that 91% alcohol man Whew. stuff's almost as strong as that Portuguese moonshine I used to drink you can see a little bit of machine a little bit of machining on it uh, wouldn't consider it anything wouldn't consider anything bad a little bit of swirls I don't know if you can see the little swirlies in there where the bit went down the lathe. I'd like to see how that was, how they do that. I'm wondering if I should put this on that. I think I'll put the card down on top of it. Do I have this right way? Voila! Yeah, I kept the pads on the back of this. I covered it with a little bit of scotch tape. That way I could keep the two. If I would have, if I would have replaced it with one, it would have um, made putting this on a little more difficult. So now what you want to do is look at it and see what ones go through the back plate and what ones don't. So through the back plate, the two, three top, these two bottom don't, these two don't, obviously those don't, those two don't, one does, the other one doesn't and those four up top do okay so you just want to put screws in that you're gonna need for the plate first I'm just gonna leave it there put in the last couple of screws and when we come back on the next half of the video this is done looks pretty good I like it so on the next part of the video we'll do the tubing and stuff I'm gonna have it already pre-cut I'll do a little bit of showing on the pre-cutting um, putting in the fittings and That'll be it until I show it going in computer.